Parthenon owes its name to Athena Parthenos, the virgin goddess Athena to whom it was dedicated. Athena was the patron goddess of Athens and also of science and technology. The ancient builders used neither mortar nor cement. These gigantic columns support massive lintels held in place by innovative metal clamps. Arguably, the golden ratio makes its aesthetics so compelling that the Parthenon is a template even for modern architectural design. Although the temple is considered an icon of perfection, I'd heard that the architects and builders had tweaked their design to ensure the impression of perfection just to play it safe. From observation, the ancients knew that a column of the same width, top to bottom, appeared narrower towards the top. To make their columns appear perfectly straight, they tapered them. Using tricks like these, they made sure the temple appeared absolutely perfect. Only an expert could detect the illusion. Professor Tassos Tanoulis, chief restoration architect, agreed to let me in on some of their design secrets, such as stairs that were intentionally made thicker in the middle. Uh, they were afraid that uh, if they had a straight uh, line for the steel bait, uh, it would, uh, f uh, it would uh, seem sunk in the middle uh, with all the weight at the top. That's an optical illusion you're talking about. Optical illusion, yes. Also, uh, it seemed that they thought of each architectural part of the building to respond like a living creature. So, uh, with all the weight of the superstructure, the column has this bulging in order to express the pressure from above. I see. In other cases, let's say, although uh, all the top, all the superstructure, the entablature, as we call it, is leaning inwards, uh, following the same uh, diminution to the top, uh, to, which gives more stability to the uh, volume of the building, each face of the bands, which are the ornaments of the architectural members, are leaning uh, outwards, so mm -hmm. that the design which was painted on it could be seen better from below. Huh. Is each column the same as its neighbor? No, according to the design of the temples or the, the, these uh, Doric buildings, uh, the corner columns are uh, uh, wider, uh, thicker than the inner ones, so that uh, they look stronger because they are at the corners. So what you're saying is really it's not just one optical illusion, it's a whole series of optical illusions. Yes, uh, corrections or optical illusions uh, are everywhere, from the very bottom to the very top of the building. All the temple is curved. I mean, there is no straight line uh, on this temple.